First tonight, the woman accused of making false child abuse claims against an Aurora City Councilwoman appears to have fabricated her own medical records to keep her from appearing for a competency hearing. Denver 7 investigative reporter Jennifer Kovaleski has been following Robin Mesetta's case for months now. What a twist this is. Certainly a twist, Ann and Shannon, and one with serious implications. Prosecutors have significant concerns. Nesetta made up her medical records that she provided to the court. Records that put this case on hold and delayed the trial. The walls are closing in on Robin Nesetta. Aurora City Councilwoman Danielle Jarinski had questions the day the bombshell claim came out in court. Prosecutors now share those same concerns. They believe Robin Nesetta may have faked a brain tumor and her own medical records to avoid felony charges. Had I not come forward with the conviction and passion that I did, publicly calling her a liar, she almost got away with this. Back in March, Nasita's attorneys told the court she had an aggressive brain cancer and was unfit to stand trial because of her condition. Nasita has been living in New Mexico with her family, where she claimed to be getting treatment. It's mind blowing to me to hear the deaths that she's gone to. Prosecutors filed this motion in court late Thursday. It details how the state cannot seem to find any record of the doctor in New Mexico or verify the oncology clinic actually exists. Court documents also state the clinic's website is a GoDaddy domain that was created in January of 2023 and no doctors appear associated with it. The records also point out the MRI images provided by Ms. Nacetta are stock images of glioblastoma found with a basic Google image search. This is who she is. She has been doing stuff like this for years and years. Nasetta is accused of making a false child abuse report against Jarinsky after the councilwoman publicly attacked Nasetta's then partner, former Aurora Police Chief Vanessa Wilson. A judge has now ordered Nasetta to come back to Colorado and appear in court on Monday. Show up to court. You did this. You tried to remove a happy, healthy little boy from an extremely loving mother. Show up. Show up and face me. Nasetta's defense attorneys have filed a motion to withdraw from her case. Nasetta was required to have a state evaluation to prove she was unfit to stand trial, but was claiming she couldn't travel back to Colorado due to her condition. Nasetta must be in court Monday unless she can provide verifiable medical records. Anne? So we will see. All right. Thank you, Jen, for that follow up. And you can catch up with Jen's reporting on this case, including Nasetta's charges and today's developments. That is all available on our website, denver7.com.